all the brothers and the boys in the Jesus 
I have something that he wants to give you. And he wants to give you life. Amen. Everlasting. Amen. Life everlasting, you'll never die. Once you've been born again, and you place your feet upon that solid rock, filled it by the Holy Ghost, you're his, and he's mine. That's the promise, and that's the hope that I have. Right down in me. Yeah. Yeah. That's right, and it's unremovable. Even when the water starts racing down the river, the tree that still stands down gets rooted deeply right into the ground. And then when it's rooted deeply into the ground, brethren, it's been fed, it's been sunshine, it's been watered. And everything by the Holy Man. And that's God on high. Because He loves His creation. A little green. He loves everything that He formed, and all that He wants you to do is to love Him. That's right. Give your whole life to Him and knock, and it shall be open unto you. I was lost and undone without Him, without the Father I knew. The hell would be my home. I knew that mom or dad could never save me and they couldn't buy me a home up in heaven. Even though we've had nice homes, we've had homes, we've lived there and clothed on our back. But still, they were something that they could not do. They could not save you. They could not put your name in that Lamb Book yeah. of Life. And there's only one man to do that, and that's why God sent His only begotten Son into this world. Not to condemn this world, but the world through Him might be saved. And I'm glad that faith, the true faith, has that. It to establish Him to come and die for us that His testament would be founded and would be formed. The tester had to die. But he preached his gospel. He walked among the pure and holy. A uh, spotless lamb, or did he shine? He was like a sheep that would live to the slaughter. But I'm glad that he had that much love. He told the father upon the eye, I'll go down and I'll die. I'll pull my sheep down. I told that he, uh, he sent his love. He sent his beloved upon that city, uh, upon that mountain that he wanted to lie. John highly unto you and I uh, that we could be a part of him. I want faith. I want Lord. I want baptism. Are we all baptized into one body? And I'm glad that that is named into that body of Jesus Christ. He is the head of that church, and there's no man is the head of this church. It's been built, but the nation already done told you it's solid on its solid foundation and the stone that we found outside the twelve apostles. They gave their life and follow after him, man. They had died a horrible death in this world, but uh, there was one man that was fired and he uh, had to finish it. Uh, uh, and that was to, to revelate our minds. Uh, uh, to understand God and to understand that anything that we don't understand, we have to come to Him uh, uh, by faith believing. I believe that he is a rewarder to them that they'll idly sneak after him. And so then, and then, then, and then when you do that, the Spirit, I will give you food that you need to eat, and then to drink a meal, and a bite of meat, and you'll begin to grow like an apple tree. I'll plumb the branches. I'll fix you the way that you need to be fed and grounded in His love. But I'm glad to tell you today that I was lost and undone. I needed someone awesome in my life to give me something. I was I knew that dark and hollow spot. I knew all on some were down. I knew what I was darkness meant to me. 